I was commissioned to do a 120 foot long mural with Sound Transit for their new Federal Way station. It will be under construction for several years, so they wanted to have local POC artists do murals to beautify the construction site. The piece has pictures of my family members from before World War II and symbolic objects from my memory net. This is the area where the net turns into barbed wire to represent the incarceration of my relatives during World War II. This is a portrait of my grandmother's older sister, Clara, with her number from when she was in Thule Lake. The installation happened, and then shortly after that, somebody came by and slashed through the faces of many of the people depicted in my mural and other murals. You can still see the slash marks here. Sound Transit fixed it the best they could and they also reprinted some of the panels, but then it happened again immediately afterwards. Then there was press, and then there was an official statement from Sound Transit calling it an act of racially motivated violence. The faces of some of my relatives were also slashed through here. Lauren was very strongly in favor of speaking out and not only speaking out and repairing the vandalism, but actually calling attention to it. And I think that was a beautiful idea. My plan is to sew up the tears with gold wire. And I'm trying to evoke the ancient Japanese art of repairing pottery with precious metals. So like broken pottery being repaired with precious metals, uh, gold or silver. The concept that I'm really drawn to is that it's a third thing. It's not how it was before and it's not slashed through anymore, but it becomes like a, an art piece that's taking what happened to it and accepting it and making it into something new. Lauren's piece is historical in nature and I think this brings it home right into the present day. I'm gonna move it this way, Lucia. What this ended up being was a way for the artists involved in this project and Sound Transit and myself to put our values into practice and to take action based on these values and to make this a teachable moment for everybody that's been able to witness it. The process of making it into something new is cathartic for me, but also there's an element of wanting to show that I accept the damage and that I did something new to make it beautiful again, and now it's another thing. See more of Lauren's work at laurenita.com.